Okay, to make a rain barrel, you need a 55-ish gallon uh, drum um, that's not been used for anything toxic, food grade, so uh, car washes, use soap, uh, detergents, stuff like that, something non-toxic. Um, we need a um, hose bib with a one inch um, thread here. It um, has the threads for a hose here. So hose threads here, pipe threads here. And we need an inch and five eighths overflow fitting. And this is a two inch um, multi-purpose adapter. This will go from your downspout right into one of these holes on the top of the barrel. Unscrew one of the lids here. This is the easiest part. And you can use a, a screen from um, a, a window or door screen, or I have an onion bag, a produce bag on mine. You could just stick that here and this will stick right in the hole. And then you'll put your downspout right into that to get the water to go in. So we have the water going in, now we have to get the water to come out. For this we use a one inch hole saw or spade bit. Now we're going to look at the top of the barrel and we know our water is coming in here so we have to about think about where we want the water to come out. We're going to go straight across from where we want the water to go in to actually put our spigot. So there's a line down the middle of the barrel. We're just going to follow that line straight down because we know it's right across from where the water's going in. And there's actually a nice little T right here where two lines cross, which is a great place to drill your hole for your spigot. That way, anything that's in your, in your water when it comes in, any sediment will settle out on the bottom, but you'll still be able to get a lot of water out of the barrel the spigot will be down near the bottom. So with your one inch spade bit, drill a hole as straight as you can because your spigot is going to thread right into this. So try to drill it as straight as you can. And then with either a silicone sealant or I like to use plumbing goop, it seems to break down a little bit less um, in the sunlight. Plus it works um, very well as an adhesive to, to hold your spigot on there very tight. So you're just going to kind of put this around the threads. One more turn. Now on some spigots, you'll have to watch so that you don't tighten it too much and that your handle hits the barrel. This one it's not a problem, but some it is. So before this dries, we'll actually seal this. We'll push it around and seal it so that it doesn't leak. All right, we have a way for our water to get in and a way for our water to get out. Now we need an overflow fitting for when the barrel is full. Because the idea, the reason your downspout is there is to keep the water from going down into your foundation. So when the barrel is full, you don't want it to just fill up here and flow over into your foundation. You want to provide a place for it to go. So somewhere near the top, usually about 90 degrees from the spigot, you're going to put your overflow fitting. And if you use um, the inch and a quarter fitting, you can just buy a length of um, a sump pump hose, a drainage hose, and it'll usually come with a fitting. So I'm gonna lay the barrel down on its side again. And the location of this hole isn't as critical. Somewhere near the top, so your barrel fills. And this is also, if you choose to uh, have more than one barrel, you can actually use this overflow fitting to attach two barrels. So that when this one fills up, the water will come through here into, you would get a shorter inch and a quarter um, septic or sump pump, not septic, sump pump hose 
um, to link the two. You don't want it any more than maybe a foot long or it'll start to sag so that you can have another barrel. So when this one's full, it'll start filling up a second barrel. So when you set this up on your house, um, you'll want to have it up on some blocks. Um, a cement block is a good height. When this is full, it's about, I don't know, between 400 and 600 pounds. Um, and so if it's not on a level surface, it could uh, hurt somebody if it slides off. So make sure you have it up about 12 to 18 inches. The higher up you get it, the more pressure you'll have coming out of the spigot. Um, and also make sure it's on a secure level surface. In the winter, all you really need to do is empty your barrel. So drain all the water out and simply turn it upside down. So the water doesn't freeze inside. And then you'll also want to make sure you address the water coming off of your downspout. 